Hi everyone, it's me, Brock from Trader. Thank you for joining my live trading session where you will see me trade. You can watch my PL, you can watch my screams just as if you were sitting right here beside me and watching me trade, which I believe is the best way to learn trading. I'm just about to join my trading room members, so welcome again. Please hit that like button if you are on YouTube, and thank you for joining. Welcome traders, good to see you all here. Welcome here in our live trading room and of course those of you who are joining us in YouTube. Welcome, market is open. The S&P is uh, at around zero, actually just a bit more, a bit down. On the other hand, if you're watching the Nasdaq, it's up 0.3%. And continues. Seven cents on the very first part here. Now let's look for movers. LUV is down 5.8 percent. Didn't really give me a Love chance to, to move in. Spot, however, looks like it's about to break down under the lows, which is going to be under 148.26. Oh, Microsoft, maybe I will take it in a better price. Uh, it's six, but uh, let's see. I'm going to post uh, spot. Place my order in I'm Microsoft. 48.50. Nvidia is very strong today. Meta very strong. Boeing is very weak. Wow, XPV. My coin, keep coming, keep coming. Market's initial direction is up. S&P is moving up. So is the Nasdaq. And that's why I'm still holding it. You enter to spot under 149. We'll short spot under 149. It's close. I'm going to join you here. If, if spot's going to trigger, stop is going to be over 150, 150. So we'll be risking two and a half points. It's a big mover. Be careful. I'm short. Short spot. Stock is down 8.8%, which means it's likely to become a gap and go. We've got a huge gap down today, and the go Microsoft. would mean it should go under the lows and more. Regardless of market direction, because the market is moving up, it doesn't help, but it should move down regardless of market direction. What happened to XPV? Amazing. LUV will be shorted under 3530. Wow, look at coin. Very nice. Very nice move on COIN. In this case, stop's going to be 45 cents or so. 35.75 or so. It's the same idea. Stock is down almost 5%. So it should be a gap and go. Here comes spot. Good. Look at spot. Just move down under the lows. Beautiful move. It's not enough. We've got one point. It should continue. I am interested in Tesla long today. I'm 
just looking for some kind of a confirmation. May have missed my entry point in Tesla. On the other hand, if it's going to come down now and move up again, it's going to be much more safe. It will look safer. Never traded RTX, but I'm going to take it short under 83.70. This is a partial here on Spot, Spotify, SPOT. The only thing I have left now is Netflix and some Spot, SPOT. The stop's going to be over 85, which is $1.70, $1.30 stop. If it's going to trigger. Small pullback in Tesla, and I'm wondering if I should take it. If yes, it should be over 271.50 for a long. This could be the confirmation I was looking for. Pullback from the recent highs, and then maybe continuation. Good move in spot. I'm looking for more. I'm going to post Tesla in case it wants to continue higher. Over 271.50 for long. Posted. Come on, Netflix. Just need you to, to uh, make the trio here. Perfect triple this morning going for. That would be nice. Tesla's getting closer. In Netflix, nothing happened, but watch Microsoft. Microsoft SP great. is continuing to move higher. Nasdaq also holding near the highs. Tesla is approaching my entry point. Tesla is strong today, up 0.7%. At the same time, okay, watch RTX is approaching. Short under 83.70, as I mentioned earlier. Roblox 3990 RBLX, my favorite. RTX is Roblox. close. Beautiful RTX daily chart. Down 13%. Yeah. RTX just triggered. I'm short. Same idea again. Like spot, like Louv. LUV did not trigger, but uh, it's the same idea. Very big gap down and expectation for a gap and go. Just that you want to get them after a pullback. You don't want to short it right out of the gate like RTX initially moved down. You want to wait for a pullback and then see the breakdown. Stopped out from Netflix. Okay. Tesla is approaching. I'm going to go long over 271.50. I'm long Tesla. Tesla is up today 0.9%. The S&P is up 0.05, which means Tesla is definitely outperforming. Nasdaq is up 0.36. There's out all shares Spotify, done with the trade. Just waiting on Netflix right now. Still interested in LUV under 35.30 as I posted earlier. Just proved to me that it doesn't want to continue higher. It's coming back down. Try to move higher, it failed. Now it's coming back down. And again, this stock is down almost 5%. Should be a gap and go. It's approaching. 
it's getting close a little bit triggered I'm short three short trades all of them are based on the gap and go RTX down 13.7 percent LUV down almost 5 percent spot down more than 10 percent and just one trend one trade with the trend which means the S&P is moving higher and the stock is strong which is Tesla now let's see if technicals work they should I was risking around 40 cents a bit more in LUV which means I need a breakdown under 35 spot is now trying to move to a new low just pulled back up and coming back down if we're going to get a new low this should be my target point somewhere over there it's getting there got a new low good now let's let it ride a little bit and get a partial beautiful three points here I was risking around two and a half points S&P new high amazing okay I'll be taking my partial here in spot took my partial in spot S&P new highs S&P doesn't stop Nasdaq beautiful bull flag formation and a new high you can see that all of my shorts are currently working nicely although the market's moving up and that's amazing that's the reason why gap and goes are such a strong real strong technical formation again a big gap down trying to move up failing and then coming down RTX is doing well my first target in Microsoft now oops on fixed and stop loss LUV is doing okay I want to see a breakdown under 35 good I've got it and in another 10 cents or so just under 34.90 Beautiful so bouncing in Microsoft. Microsoft. Right what is Tesla's giving today? me some trouble. After Roblox will wow, break 50. Maybe I will take it earlier. I'll give Tesla a chance to bounce back up. RTX, good. Just touched the new law, I believe. Come on, LUV, just more five cents more. Come on, Tesla, recover. Gonna stop Tesla under 269.50. If it gets there, LUV touching my target here. Market's moving to a new high. Come on, I'll give you five more cents. Anyway, I won't let it move over 35. Okay, good. At my target. Come on. Just a few more cents. Yes, now. At my target. Waiting a bit more. Trying to get a bit more. Yes, good. Good move there. Good getting a bit more than I expected LUV oh 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 Tesla I didn't see that 
about to move out of Tesla. I think it's actually moved to the point where I should have stopped it. I did not see it. If it moves again down under 50, under 269.50, I'll stop it. Taking down my partial in LUV, took. Okay, that's a bounce in Tesla. Good. Finally got my bounce in Tesla. Stop remains, as I mentioned earlier, 269.50. Should have stopped it, but was too busy with LUV. Maybe that's luck. I don't know. Maybe it's going to bounce up from here. We'll see. RTX low is 82.70. Good. I want to see it under the lows. Yes. There we go. There we go. There's target on Tesla is going to be 271.50 or or around that area and still holding Netflix. Getting ready for a partial in RTX. Yogi, Microsoft all the way no. back to the highs now. Took my partial in RTX. Concentrating on Tesla now, which will be stopped under 269.50. Market's moving up. Tesla's not supposed to do that. Not supposed to do that. But I'm definitely not going to fight. out of Tesla it's a shame with Tesla the S&P trending higher but it's only up 0.1% Nasdaq is trending higher much stronger it's up 0.5% I'm starting my day with three winners LUV, RTX, and Spot, and one loser in Tesla. So that's a nice opening for me. Just 21 minutes into the trading session. And traders, um, the three trades that worked out for me nicely are all very, very technical. They're all based on a gap and go. Normally, when you have a gap which is larger than 3%, like in LUV, it's 5%. I mean, currently 5%. RTX is down now 14%. That's a big gap and go. And spot is down 9%, which is, again, a big gap and go. So they're all based on the same idea. You want to see a stock starting with a very big gap down. Normally, that means institutional traders cannot buy these stocks or sell them. They will not. They will stay on the sidelines, which means the general public, people like you and I, they are the ones who are allowed, or actually the only one left. So it's maybe 10% of the institutional traders who are still trading them, and very few uh, will buy and sell them. But general public, other people, long-term investors or traders like us, they will trade them. And again, from this um, huge number of people, I mean, look at the volume, like uh, Spot is has a 2.9 million shares just after 20-something minutes. And you can see that uh, LUV has 3.8 million shares and RTX has over 8 million shares. And, you know, we're just 22 minutes into the trading session. So just imagine that when the stock is traded at this price normally what works best is fear so there's a lot of fear in the market you want to see the buyers getting out of the way the only way to see the buyers getting out of the way is wait for a pullback so in the case of spot it started with a move down just the first one minute candle then buyers started moving in failed and you look for the failure and then once you look for the failure and you find the failure 
you short it at the point of the failure. So when it proves to you that it cannot continue higher, that's the point where you want to short it. And then, you know, based on your risk reward, where's your stop, where's your target, and so on, that's the place where you should, uh, that's where you know where your risk is and where your target is. Same idea with LUV. So with LUV, again, first move down, and then the buyers came in, the buyers are failing. Once the buyers are failing right over here, shorted it, moved under the lows. Same idea with RTX, initial move down, which is a shame, of course. You want to see it moving up at first, then you have a bigger, a much better risk reward. But in this case, look for the buyers. The buyers only came here. That's the fourth one minute candle. And then a failure. At the point of the failure, you short it. Stop loss here, target there. And that's the game. That's how you play the game of a gap and go. So all three worked out nicely. Uh, sadly, Tesla did not work out. It's very, very volatile. Maybe it's going to continue moving higher right now. I don't know. But that's a bit of a luck, of course. Bad luck. Uh, but all the rest, and I'm still riding them. I've got um, some shares left in all. Won't mind adding at some point. But all very, very technical. Beautiful gap and go in all of them. And it's one of the, I would say, safest technical patterns to trade. A gap and go usually chance of success is over 70%. I mean, I had three like that today and all three worked out. So that's a 100% success rate today. It normally is more than 70%, which I believe is good. Very good. So thank you very much, traders. Thank you for watching this uh, session with me. Appreciate that. If you are in YouTube, please hit that like button. Plenty of links right here below. If you want to join me in my live trading sessions each and every day, I do trade like that every day where I share my picks, I share my PL, and you are very welcome to join every day. So thank you again, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>